exploded you of your awesome new badger sign. For the install, you'll need a couple tools, a tape measure, a Phillips screwdriver, and a level of some sort. But first, let's get it out of the box. Your sign comes securely packaged in a custom crate. You can just go ahead and slide it out like so. The crate is held together using wing nuts, so this can all be done by hand. Remove all four wing nuts, and then the top piece of the crate can be removed. Then slide the four orange braces off. And you now have access to your sign. Let's get it on the wall, shall we? The included ball mount has a triangle that denotes the top center position of your sign. Ensure that the triangle or arrow is pointing upwards and is facing you as shown. Mark where you would like the top center point of your sign to be using the tape measure. Then line the triangle on the mount with that center point. It is important that you ensure the wall mount is perfectly level. This is where that level comes in handy. You may also want to use some painter's tape to hold the anchor in the perfect position for the next step. Once you are satisfied, insert the included orange anchor markers. Press them firmly into the slot while keeping the wall bracket level. These will make an indentation in the wall where the included anchor should be installed. Next, take the white wall anchors and insert them into the indentations that were made. These are self-tapping, so only the screwdriver is needed. Screw them in until the anchor is flush with the wall. Now you can put the wall anchor back in place and use the included screws to mount it securely. Now you just need to place the sign against the wall with the top edge just a few inches above the wall mount and slide the sign down while lining up the cleat on the sign with the wall mount. The only thing left to do is plug in the included power adapter to the bottom left corner of your sign and you're good to go. You can use the included remote to control your sign or even better, download the dedicated Magic Lantern app to have even more control via your mobile phone. There is a QR code to the app on the back of your remote. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget to peel off the protective film around the outer rim. 